Ruyard Kipling said San Francisco has only one drawback, tis hard to leave. Well, these days there's another, tis hard to find a parking space. John Blackstone tells us some entrepreneurs have found a solution, which is giving city government road rage. At some time, every driver about to pull out of a parking spot has thought, I could sell this space. Now, there's an app for that. So this would be saying, here's, here's my parking spot that I'm about to leave? So this spot is available, I'm about to leave, I posted it for $5. Pull over and take a look. Dan Schifrin is co-founder of ParkMoto, a smartphone app that, for a price, will match a driver searching for parking with someone about to leave a space. Why not meld the efficiencies of a marketplace that ultimately can make a very bad situation like parking in the city better for everyone? Park Moto, along with two similar apps, Monkey Parking and Switch, have chosen San Francisco as their first test market. This city, crowded with technology companies and never enough parking, would seem the perfect place to launch a smartphone parking solution. But San Francisco has declared the parking apps illegal. Matt Dorsey is spokesman for the city attorney. This is trying to take a public asset that doesn't belong to them and make a profit off of it. That's, that's all this is. Park Moto's co-founder argues that his app doesn't charge for a parking spot, it charges for knowledge. And there's money exchanged. There is money exchanged. I mean, if you want to, if you want to uh, purchase my information and I want to offer you my information. So that's your point. You're selling information, you're not selling the parking spot. I'm just saying when I'm leaving. That's all we're doing. San Francisco is threatening to slap a $300 fine on anyone using the apps. In a city where cable cars are part of the public transit system, changing the way drivers find parking is turning into an uphill struggle. John Blackstone, CBS News, San Francisco.